Hi, my name is Aoife Noonan and I am delighted to be teaming up with Kenwood today to make this gorgeous Christmas dessert. So we are going to be making a mulled fruit pavlova, soft, chewy meringue piled high with an orange flavoured cream and some gorgeous aromatic mulled fruits. So I'm just going to get straight into the fruits. The first thing I have here is some red wine. So I'm going to pop it in the saucepan, it's about half a bottle. And I'm gonna flavor this with some creme de cassis, which is a blackcurrant liqueur. And this just gives a really kind of lovely back, back note. So just a big glug of that. And then I've got my aromatic. So I've got a used vanilla pod here, or you can use vanilla extract. And then my lovely Christmas spices. So I have cloves, ginger, some cinnamon, star anise, and I've got some lemon zest and orange zest in there as well. So that's gonna go on the heat just to warm up. And then I can prep my fruit. So I already have a pear here prepped. So I'm just gonna peel the pear and just pop it in the baking tray. So we're gonna bake the fruit. So I've got some lovely pears, plums, and I've got blackberries as well. So you use whatever you have. I'll just pop that in. And then I have some stoned uh, plums. So that has come to a simmer. I'm just gonna add my sugar just to sweeten it up. And that's gonna dissolve now into the liquid. Mm -hmm. So that goes straight over my fruit. It smells so good. So that just goes into a preheated oven to about 180 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. If the fruit is very ripe, it won't take that long. So I would just check after 20, 25 minutes. And if it needs a bit longer, just give it a few more minutes. So these fruits are cooked now. I'm just going to set them aside to cool for a while. So now I'm going to make the meringue. The first thing is the egg whites. So it's really important that your mixer bowl is dry and clean and there's no little remnants of fat in there. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt as well. And this just helps stabilize the meringue. And then I'm going to add the sugar gradually while I'm mixing. I'm just throwing in the last bit of the sugar now. So that is ready now. I'm just going to add two more ingredients, some lemon juice, which helps with the stability and some corn flour as well. And this is a secret ingredient, which helps keep it lovely and chewy in the inside. Just mix them through. Okay, so that is ready. So the meringue is ready to go. I have my tray ready with some parchment paper and I'm just gonna dot a little bit of meringue under the parchment and that just keeps it nice and in place. And I'm just gonna pop all of this onto the middle of the tray. And then I'm going to shape it. So have a little palette knife here. Just make a little kind of disc. And then smooth 
the edges. And you can make this as big or as small as you like. If it's a bit wider, it'll be a bit flatter. And then when you've got a kind of mound like that, I'm just gonna do a little design. And these little flicks just give it a little bit more texture. So I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the middle and then this just gives us a nice base for our cream and our fruit. So that is ready. That's going to go into an oven preheated to 130 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to turn it down to 100 degrees for maybe two, two hours. So next is the orange and vanilla cream. So I've got some double cream here, a little bit of sugar to sweeten, and then I'm gonna to start to whisk that and then add some vanilla. Now the orange zest. Mm. So that is ready. So it's lovely and soft. So I'm just gonna set that aside in the fridge until my meringue is cooked. So I cooked my pavlova for about two hours and then I turned off the oven and I let it sit in the oven for a few hours. So it is nice and cool now and I can assemble. So my fruit is cool as well. I have some lovely blackberries, which I'm just gonna toss through the syrup. So we don't wanna roast them or else they'll go quite soft. So, and then I'm just going to pile my cream on and then just pop my fruits on. A little bit of the juices on the top as well. So that is it, that is my mulled fruit pavlova, perfect for Christmas, and I hope you have a lovely Christmas.